I loved episode 10 and I specifically loved um, when the end of the episode, when with the, the, where your character says, you know, I can't swim. I love the delivery of that line. And I love uh, just that scene. It's like, it's heartbreaking. Um, and I'm just curious, can you talk a little bit about filming that and how you wanted to deliver that line? Yeah, I mean, that that was one of, you know, one of the great things about having that arc. And obviously as an actor, I knew that that was, I was going to arrive at that point. Um, and when, so, so that's why I, I, I wanted to make him a sort of bullish and um, really kind of unsympathetic early on. And then, and then actually with the effect of, you know, Cassian and he going head to head and then the moment of realization that they're never going to, ever going to be released and and that sort of reigniting his humanity in a way and then really in episode 10 it, he he goes on this journey of which which is in, in absolutely part of his his core belief system is 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 that the power of the individual can help others and you can if you will unite you can change the, you know you can change the, the shape of the future you know that that can, comes flooding back to him and you actually see the process of that happening which ends up with you know the, the kind of the sacrifice if you like uh and, and that and that scene at the end where we tried it in different ways we tried that line in in lots of different ways of him almost being angry um of of, of uh you know without being without being too sentimental kind of like seeing his own doom we tried it you know and and, and then eventually we we sort of settled into this this area of of is almost coming to terms with it and, and and i think that sort of pathos really that moment of pathos probably was was the way to go so so it, but it was a re, it was a really explorative um scene to do and especially yeah for me for, for my character but it was an amazing scene to shoot with with everybody diving you know diving off and jumping to freedom and and just this sort of sense of you know vertigo and fear and 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 and, and phobia of 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 water you know it just was yeah it was an interesting layer very interesting layer to play yeah, one of the things that I love about Andor is how it just feels believable what's happening to the characters. And the thing I especially love is how every few episodes, Cassian is running into different people the way you would in real life. You know, like he, uh, I don't want to get specific, but it's just, you know, he's bouncing from situation to situation. And often with TV shows, you're not stuck with, but you're with the same actors all season. There's no believability that anyone is really going to die or get hurt. And that's just not the case on Andor. No, 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 absolutely. I mean, that's that's the genius of, of, of Tony's vision, really. He he and and uh, and and which again makes it makes it such a great everyman story because because they're all so incredibly um you know, they all feel real. They just all feel everyone, as you say, all the characters and their and their idiosyncrasies and their and their functions and and their you know complex personal lives kind of all intermingled sort of really make it feel like a world that you that that you that you could go through that you quite you could easily relate to and the politics the 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 the, the thriller aspect of it you know it's it's it feels just uh you know it's very satisfying very satisfying to watch and i, I mean i've watched the other episodes you know like a fan so it, it, it's been incredible uh, my last thing for you, because I'm just about out of time. When you signed on, did Tony say to you it's going to be for three episodes? Or did he say, like, you might, there's a possibility of more? And my part two, uh, now that you've seen how incredible it is, have you called him and been like, hey, man, I really would like to direct an episode in season two? Oh, well, I, I hadn't thought of that. I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, it's, it, uh, yeah, that's that would be an amazing thing to do. I don't know what the future holds for for Kino Loy. Uh, who knows? He might be stuck on that ship and or whatever. I don't know. Um, but let's see. I, I I can't. I haven't had any discussions yet. But but um, I don't know. We'll have to see what everybody thinks of it and and, and the out and the outcome. I mean, I I, I think it's 
Look, if even if if Kino Loy goes no further, the answer, the short answer to your question is, yeah, that would be that would be a thrilling thing to do to be to be part of uh, to be part on the other side of the on the other side of the camera for for for, for this world would be amazing. Yeah, listen, um, I I, I have to uh, uh, wrap, but I really just want to say to you, sincerely, loved your work on Andor, um, I, and I I can't say enough amazing things about the show. There's not enough vocab. Out of my, I don't have enough language to express how much I love the show. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, and I agree with you. I mean, in terms of the show, I do. I I really think it's it, it is a beautiful piece of storytelling. Um, act, just real fast, how long did you actually shoot for? Well, you said a few weeks, but how long was was it to to shoot the three episodes? I mean, it was over the course of about I think it must have been about five or six weeks. I think. Okay. I'm just curious how, how what it what it actually took, but listen, man. Again, I just want to say congrats and uh, good oh, luck man. with the rest of your speed dating. And uh, I can't, you know, uh, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thanks, Steve. Great to see you as ever.